Ethan, I'm sure it's been a tough week overall, but how nice is it to finish it with three points? Yeah, no, amazing. Like I said, it has been a tough week. It's never nice for a, a manager to lose his job, um, but to get three points to resilience the boys showing this week has been a testament to, to the boys. What was it about the performance today that kind of pleased you the most as well as, well as Jim? Um, as a defender, obviously, a clean sheet. I've not had many of those this season, and uh, to get one away from home always feels good. The, certainly backs against the wall towards the end as well, a few corners coming in, lots of crosses, yeah. but you know, yourself and defensive unit really perform well. Yeah, no, us as a whole, like as a how Jim set us up was a, a full structured defensive shape from front to back, so set pieces, Kev Gibbons has come back in and had us very organised, so everyone knew exactly what we did. And you said before the game, eight games to go, we've got to try and win the next one, win the next one. Is that going to be a mantra going forward now? Yeah, Jim's had a few mansions since when he was last at the job for two weeks or so it was. And another one, is now he's got the job for to the end of the season. It's just take each game as they come and come on and play the next game. How has it been this week working with Jim and it's been good, like I've just said upstairs, the Radio Manchester, I've got so much admiration for how he speaks to the players. He's, he's just very good, like, he's got a bright future, in my opinion. Looking forward, starting off these last games with a win, how much can that give us going forward? I think it can give us confidence to build on, definitely. Um, I think the goal was amazing, great finish by Lloyd, but the build up behind it was all the process that we've had through Thursday, Friday. I think if you, could, if you, were, you guys have been there, if you'd have seen what we've been doing and to how we've done it on the pitch, it's, it's what we work for. How, how good is that feeling when you know what you've been working on during the week and it comes into action on Saturday? Yeah, it's amazing. It just, I don't know, it gives you that belief then as well, like, this is what we do, we can do it again and you can, if you've got a process, you can keep building on that process, even if the outcome isn't what you want, but you've got a strong, solid process behind it, you can work for it. Two games so over the next weekend now, Easter weekend, how much, um, how much do players kind of look forward to those two games in quick succession? Um, I can only speak for myself, I like games back to back, It's uh, even though I can't talk today, but it's, uh, it's just one of those things, it's Easter, fans love it, we love it, so it's a great one. Nice feeling towards the end, the fans are celebrating all the players going over to 60 of them and down here. Yeah, no, I imagine it's a long trip from there and long trip from back and obviously had a long trip last week and we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but this week I'm just saying, Three points. How important can they be as well in these last seven games? Yeah, no, of course, whenever you've got the fans behind you, it's, uh, it's, it's key. And I think with Jim, you've got to get behind him. He's, like, he's a lovely person, you can't not get behind him.